This week's Seven Different Genres is sponsored by Skillshare. Want to learn more about business, technology, and design? Keep watching to find out how you can get a two-month free trial of Skillshare. Hey, Alma Editorials! Want to support Editing is Everything? Get exclusive merch and see how the trailers are created? Become a patron! Remember, all the links to the videos and music are down in the description. Be sure to subscribe and turn on my notifications so you don't miss when I upload. And stay tuned for the outro for more. Enjoy! This is probably not the best time to tell you about this, but something happened today. What? What happened to her? We found her. She seems physically fine, but she's had an encounter and she's acting kind of strange. Are we going to talk about it? You're referring to today. Talkative time? Don't know. The friend of hers, a kid named Tony. I'll check it out. He doesn't even know me. We all made mistakes. What have you done? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. Remember those walls. Seems like a good kid. Popular, plays sports. If you had simply done nothing, everything would now be proceeding in an orderly fashion. You'd have preferred we do nothing? Without a doubt. We talked about this. You're not old enough to decide about these things. Have you told anyone else about this? Your parents? No, they'd only think I was hiding something. You know what I mean? We can't count on anyone else now, Bob. It's just us. Are things bad? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Tell me about the incident. This happened in the parking lot. I feel kind of bad about it. I'm taking in information. I'm processing. Boys suck. I like this girl. Now things are just going to be weird. I'll probably get no more than a slap on the wrist. I didn't think about you having to pay the price for a choice you never made. It's not fair. The law should be fair. What are we teaching our kids? To respect the law. Even when the law is disrespectful? If laws are unjust, there are laws to change them. Otherwise, it's chaos. Which is exactly what we have. It's over. The world is what it is. I'm used to knowing what the right thing to do is. But now, I'm not sure. Good morning. No sugar bombs on my watch. I'll watch the kids, no problem. Easy. Easy, huh? You're adorable. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? I want you back here by 10.30. 11-ish? 10-ish, heading for 9.30-ish. 10.30-ish it is. This is my dad. Oh, we've met. And this is embarrassing. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it this I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Ah, math is math. Okay, math dad. is math. I can do math. Why did we drive all the way across town for the happy platter? And this platter doesn't look all that happy to me. It looks bored. I thought Vi would want to change a pace from drive-in food. I like drive-in food. Does this mean vegetables? A balanced diet means vegetables, you know? Get used to it. Maybe excuse I've got this. Everything's great. Besides, he's a baby. I can handle it. I got this handle. So... You good then. You got everything under control, right? <laughs> hey, the bus is here. Whoa, grab your stuff. Go on, get on the... Put one red thing in and a load of whites, and now everything's pink. You don't think I can do this? When was the last time you slept? Who keeps track of that? Return to the Mac. Get him what? what it is. is it good? I can't keep giving him cookies. He's in excellent health. Close it. Oh. Is she having adolescence? I thought it was best to just let you sleep. 17 hours? I just want to be a good dad. You're not good. You're super. Mayors often brag about their cities, and <laughs> I'm no exception. The future is open for business!
Wait, the train has stopped. We didn't do anything wrong. The world is what it is. We have to adapt. Are things bad? Things are fine. Stop what you're doing and listen up. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with over 20,000 classes to choose from, including editing, business, video production, programming, photography, cooking, writing, music, or even how to get your own superpowers. What? How do we do that? Eh, maybe not. Premium memberships give you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love right from the comfort of your own home. It's convenient. That is useful. Each class includes easy to follow videos, making it simple to work at your own pace. Cool. So many of these classes will blow you away, like the editing classes, including Beginner's Guide to iMovie and Premiere Pro, because editing is indeed everything. You're a genius. Aw oh, shucks. I'm just the genius behind the genius. Skillshare is one of the most affordable learning platforms online. Darling, my rates are far too high. Oh, uh. I am joking, Robert. You don't need to save the world or rob a bank to start your classes because an annual subscription is just less than $10 a month. Oh. <laughs> but the first 500 people to sign up using my promo link down below will get a two month free trial of Skillshare Premium. This sounds great. Let's get this going. What's my first assignment? Make your mark. Don't wait for permission. Assert yourself and impose your will on the status quo. Learning the skills you need and doing the work you love is just a few clicks away. So get started today with Skillshare. Yes. nice to be wanted. Flattering, you know? People have to pay attention. I was approached by a dude who represents this tycoon. Wants to talk. He's a special case. We're studying. I love you, honey. Sweet dreams, honey. File 82-712. Agent Rick Dicker interrogated. Tell me about the incident. There was a break-in. The robbers discovered him on the phone and shot him. So? Mother died a few months later. Heartbreak. Talkative time? Don't know. Last name is Reidinger. Tony Reidinger. I'll check it out. It doesn't bother you that an innocent man is in jail? What did I do? What did you guys do to me? That's right, punk. Blame the system. We didn't start this fight. Did you catch him? No. You want out of the hole? First, you gotta put down the shovel. There's this girl in my class. You're, uh, Violet, right? That's me. She was cute. I asked her out to a movie. So, Friday? Friday. She always has smiled. This is my mom. Hello there. Pleased to meet you. You're adorable. Are we going to talk about it? What? The elephant in the room. <clears throat> I guess not then. You're not old enough to decide about these things. It's been a while. I never know what people want. What do you think they want? Remember last year when you told me. 
I like this girl. I'm supposed to go out with her Friday night. We're all going to a movie too, Tony. Don't mind us. Now things are just gonna be weird. This is embarrassing. Boom! <laughs> what do you say? What do I say? <laughs> What would the believer say? You know what's crazy, right? She changed. I can't lie to you. It's nice to be wanted. It's flattering, you know? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are close, I guess. This is true. Things are fine. Tell me about the incident. Are we going to talk about it? Are things bad? Things are fine. The strangest thing just happened out in the yard. Taking in information, I'm processing. How do I do it? Superheroes are illegal. If we want to change people's perceptions about superheroes, we need you to share your perceptions with the world. We didn't do anything wrong. They see destruction and they see you. You were kind of in Mr. Incredible's shadow. What yeah. world do you live in? You have the stage to yourself now. People have to pay attention. Want to talk with me, with you two, about hero stuff. It's not her fault superheroes are illegal. We didn't start this fight. They've all been in hiding. We're gonna solve all kinds of problems together. For our first move, Elastigirl is our best play. Help me make all supers legal again. Dever here. This is Elastigirl. I'm in. A new Elastigirl. New herbal. You want to make a big crime fighting statement? You go where the crime is big. Strange thing to be excited about. It's like a superhero's playground. Something's up. The train is going the wrong direction. Go, go, go! And now someone else is getting all your bets. I saved the runaway train! Well, these boots are made for walking. And then No casualties! Are you all right, ma'am? I'm perfectly fine. It's nice to be wanted. You know what's crazy, right? To help my family, I gotta leave it. To fix the law, I gotta break You'll it. You'll be great. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk Is all over Is that girl? You. Hey, I'm the 
about editorials, it's Danny, and welcome back to my channel, Editing is Everything. New year, another sponsorship. I want to give a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an amazing online program with over 20,000 classes to choose from, ranging from business to media to design, technology, just about anything you can think of. And if you enjoyed my ad earlier, then you're going to love my promo code. Click on the code down below in the description and you'll get two months free of Skillshare Premium. Totally free. Once again, thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So that wraps up this week's trailer, Incredibles 2, but in seven different genres. Raise your hand if you were as excited as I was when this movie came out in theaters. I love The Incredibles. Literally had to wait 14, 15 years for the sequel to come out. Worth it. Also, Happy New Year! Happy 2019! I hope you all had a fantastic holiday and a fantastic new year, and let me know what your New Year's resolutions are down in the comments below. I think one of my resolutions is to make better quality videos for you guys, and I don't know if you've noticed, but we've got some widescreen up in here and some HD Blu-ray action. <laughs> and I'll be going back to my normal movie YouTuber movie YouTuber schedule. It has been way too long since I've made a YouTuber trailer, but they're coming back. I'm also going to try to change up the format of the outros a little bit to talk more in depth about each genre or the genres that I really want to talk about and really go into detail about, like the drama trailer. So you're probably wondering why are the drama trailers always so heavy? Why do they do with addiction, depression, depression, suicide, loss, and like all this dramatic stuff. The reason why I like adding all these heavy subjects into my trailers is because not many people are really that open to talk about depression or mental illness or suicide on YouTube. And that's kind of an issue for this day and age because we're all on the internet. Like why are people so afraid to talk about it? I know because so many people don't take mental health seriously, which is why I like putting that subject matter in my trailers to make it easier for people to talk about it. I mean, if you could sit here and watch a cartoon character portray something to do with mental illness or suicide or something. I want to make it easier for people to talk about it and to bring it up. And I try not to do it in a way that glorifies it, but more of just brings it to the light and just makes it easier for people to talk about it and to be exposed to it. Boy, when I thought of that idea for the drama trailer, I got chills and I just cringed because it was so intense and so real. If you didn't catch the story in the trailer, Basically, I edited the movie to seem like Tony had sexually assaulted Violet and how adults react to it, how the justice system reacts to it, and how we need to take it more seriously. Oh, just chills, cringe. Ugh. Okay, so on to the next genre. We have the Netflix original trailer. Okay, so I'm reading your comments now and a lot of you are saying that Netflix isn't a genre. Like, Obviously, it's not a genre, but it's a style. There's a specific style to Netflix shows and movies. Like, just wa watch a bunch of Netflix show trailers, Netflix movie trailers. There's a specific kind of flow to it. And so for this trailer, the story is that Bob is a, is a single father who's looking after his three kids and he thinks he's on top of the world and then just things go horribly wrong in the best possible way. It makes it so funny. So I'm not saying that Netflix is a genre, but it's a style, kind of like how Marvel is a style or Star Wars is a style or Michael Bay is a style. There's a specific kind of flow to each genre and to each trailer. And speaking of Michael Bay, he was the inspiration for the disaster trailer. As you all know, Michael Bay just loves explosions and robots and just destruction, destruction, explosion everywhere. And it's kind of funny how this movie has such fewer explosions than the first movie. There's like three explosions in this whole movie. I kind of wanted to make it seem like doomsday or the end of the world or whatever Michael Bay would want to happen to the world. But I want you to interpret these trailers however which way you see fit. Next, in the film noir trailer, you'll notice kind of a trend in each video. But first, for those of you who don't know what film noir is, it's basically a film genre that is set in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, usually revolving around gangs or mobs or just mystery, romance, and they're usually super laid back, like there's jazz, it's black and white, and every real film noir trailer kind of follows the same format, where it shows parts and elements of the movie, but doesn't necessarily give it a coherent story just in the trailer. I mean, you can get some sort of idea from a film noir trailer, but for the most part, you just have to watch the movie to really know what the story is. Okay, so it's time for my favorite trailer, the rom-com trailer. I just randomly thought of this idea, and I was like, yes! 
This is such a good idea. It's so cute. It's really never been done before, I don't think so. And if you didn't quite catch the story in the trailer, it's about two high schoolers who have a crush on each other, and when they go on a date, they introduce their parents to each other, which are two single mothers, and they start dating. Isn't that so cute? I would totally watch that. And no, this is not me shipping Elastigirl with Evelyn. This is simply a representation of what a movie like this would be like, using these characters. So stop it! Next, we have the horror trailer. And this story is that after a break-in, the father of a family just gets so paranoid that he drives himself into insanity. As the music picks up, the crazier it gets. And yes, I know I use the hereditary trailer music a lot in these horror trailers. Is that gonna make me stop? Nope. And finally, the Marvel trailer. But Danny, The Incredibles is already a Marvel movie. No, it is not. It is Pixar. It amazes me that so many comments are of people telling me what each genre is, or that this movie is already that genre, or that genre is already this kind of movie. Like, I know The Incredibles is a superhero movie, but it's not Marvel. I edited it to make it seem like it was advertised as a Marvel movie. Throwback to Big Hero 6. I made a Marvel movie trailer about that, and so many comments were, it's already a Marvel movie. Yes, I know it was from a Marvel comic, but I edited it in the style of a Marvel trailer. There's a very specific style to Marvel trailers. Look them up. It starts off with like dramatic music, cinematic music, and then it goes into a song from like the 60s, 70s, or 80s. Go and watch the trailers for Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor Ragnarok, Iron Man. Almost every Marvel trailer follows that format, and I love it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that trailer. If you did, hit that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe, and remember, you can find all the links to the videos and music down in the description, including Shani Ramsamy, who did that amazing cover of Beyonce's Halo in the drama trailer, Dom and Eve, who did that super fun cover of Can't Hold Us by Macklemore in the Netflix trailer, Caleb Hiles with that incredible cover of Imagine Dragons Radioactive in the disaster trailer, Niall Stenson with that amazing cover of the Incredibles theme song on, on guitar in the Skillshare ad, Carmen Cruz with that amazing cover of Grace Vanderwall's Moonlight in the rom-com trailer, and Sarah Collins with the cover of Nancy Sinatra's These Boots Are Made For Walkin' in the Marvel trailer. Thank you all so much for sharing your talent with the world. I love finding smaller artists and giving them the exposure and platform that they deserve. Everything that I just listed off right now and everything in the trailer is all down in the description. You can also find links to get some merch, how you can become editorial of the week, and how you can support me on Patreon. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and suggest what other movies you want to see me make in seven different genres. <laughs> this week's editorial is Maddie at Sapphire Rosary. Thank you so much Maddie for being part of this community. Just to wrap things up, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram up here. If you want to see a trailer that YouTube probably won't push out to you, click over here and click down here to subscribe. And one last thank you to my editorial patrons. If you want to find out how you can get your name featured at the end of each trailer, it's only one dollar on my Patreon. I love you all, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.